Patrol zone's up for grabs. You intel, ready for a... Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Let's take a look at this new Call of Duty Vanguard gameplay. Is I wanted to make a reaction video to Jack Frag's gameplay. Let's get it going. And right away, you're going to see the STG44 is his gun of choice. And the gun customization slots and how you build your gun, it all kind of looks the same. And if you take a look right here, there's so many sites that they added into the game that you can choose from. And if you notice at the very top, it says equipped one out of 10. So that means you're gonna be able to put 10 attachments on your weapon. Oh my gosh. Jumping into this first match at Gavuto, Gavutu, I don't know. You're gonna notice that a lot of things look similar to Modern Warfare. And as we all know, this game is ran on the Modern Warfare engine. However, it's got that sledgehammer movement. If you played World War II, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It somewhat feels identical to that as well. You see Jack over here just slaying with that STG. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of the better guns in the game when it comes out yeah, and probably a force in Warzone. One thing I noticed too is this game, you still have your yeah. slide canceling mechanic and it looks really smooth. He did say in his gameplay that drop shotting is not the same. It's a lot harder to drop shot. There's a little bit of a delay, which is a good thing in my opinion. So you'll see a lot more people jumping around every single corner. And I gotta say, you know, a lot of these guys were able to play quite a few maps and just from watching them play, the maps do not look that bad. Historically, I don't think Sledgehammer has had a good track history on creating good maps. But in this game, I'm not gonna hate on it until I actually play it for myself. You still have the yellow plus 100 that's popping up, which is good. Looks like we are using kill streaks instead of score streaks this year, which has me a little bit worried, especially with the whole minimap thing. If you want the enemies to pop up on the minimap when they shoot, you have to be rocking a special perk. Otherwise, it's just gonna be like Modern Warfare. You're not gonna know when little Timmy is hiding in the corner shooting people. That is something that I did want in Modern Warfare. Like I wanted the dots to pop up. However, as the year went on i adjusted and it wasn't that big of a deal as far as the, the core mechanics if you know me i'm a huge fan of the modern warfare engine infinity war they do a great job with that engine so to see sledgehammer use that engine instead of using whatever Treyarch has. I'm a big fan of it. I think the gameplay, the core movement is a lot smoother. I honestly can't wait to see what kind of snipers we get because one of my favorites right now is the Car 98K. I love using that in Warzone. So having this be a World War II game, I can't wait to see what kind of snipers are gonna be like really viable in Warzone. As far as this multiplayer experience, yes, you still have skill-based matchmaking. You still have all of those little quirks that we all hate. However, if you can look past skill-based matchmaking, and a lot of people can't, the core gameplay looks good. The core gameplay looks really good. This is an alpha. I remember the alpha for Cold War was not good at all. I'm already going to say it. This game, in my opinion, is going to be better, way better than Cold War. Mark it down. However, I'm really curious to see what you guys think about this gameplay. It is an alpha. Things will probably change. But overall, I'm happy. And I can't wait to jump into it and give it a go. Let me know what you think down below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that sub button for me. And I will catch y'all later.